Hello, I'm Pastor Dave, and this is your sermon recap for Monday morning, January 11th, 2021. Here we go. One question we have in our faith is what we believe. In our understanding of God, we have Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we typically have a very good understanding of the role of the Father and the Son. But what about the Holy Spirit? This is something that people have had to wrestle with. What does the Holy Spirit do? How do we interact with the Holy Spirit? And one thing we must remember is that there is a role for the Holy Spirit in our faith. We see this in the work of Apollos. He was a basically a Hellenized Jew. He was living in Alexandria. And we encounter him several places in the epistle part of the New Testament. And and. Apollos is important because Apollos demonstrates that lineage or specific training is not important in spreading the gospel. He was not one of the disciples of Jesus Christ who followed him for three years. He wasn't even from Judea. He wasn't from Galilee. He wouldn't have had that interaction. But we see that though we didn't have those qualifications, those qualifications of the original disciples and of the apostles, the Holy Spirit was at work through him and he was effectively preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to the Hellenized world. This is also evident when we see Paul's encounter with the disciples of John the Baptist. These disciples knew of knew John preached repentance, but they did not know of the coming of the Holy Spirit. Now, this is a difference that would be evident in their lives. I mean, there is a difference between repentance and the work of the Holy Spirit of one's life. I mean, repentance is asking forgiveness of one's past sins. It doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be a great change, because that change may have already happened. You're for asking forgiveness and for changes based on past ex lives and experience, well, past experiences in life. The work of the Holy Spirit isn't focused on that past. It's focused heavily on the presence. And this really comes about in two ways. First off, there is a discernible mark of Christ in our lives. If the Holy Spirit is in our lives, there is a discernible change that others can see. And this would come at the, really, at the coming to faith in Christ and the coming of the Holy Spirit within a person. Now, this can be hard to discern if we've accepted Christ when we were younger, but there should still be a change within us, something where you can tell the Holy Spirit is at work. But a second mark that comes about is kind of based on that. John's ministry focused on, an inter on internal changes, while Jesus' ministry focused on external changes. And that's really that difference again. John called people to ask for forgiveness, to return to their faith, to return to God. Christ, in his ministry, was very external. The healing of diseases, the feeding of the hungry, living out of our faith and all the teachings of God. That's what Christ told us to do, the living of our faith. It's something that others can see. Not that that's the most important part, but that is the fruit of the faith. And ultimately, we have to ask ourselves whether we are ready to catch that spirit and go from disciple to believer. That's your recap for this week. I think I went a little long when it was all said and done. Remember, we worship at 845 at East Salem, 1015 at Ottermine. We live stream the East Salem UMC face on the East Salem UMC Facebook page at 845. You can watch it later. With everything still going on. Do what you need to do that's best for you and your family, but we are still here at the church. But until next Sunday, I'm Pastor Dave, and I hope to see you in the pews or online.